Okay, so for an early birthday present, I got Pixar Spotlight Series Wally from Mattel. How so cute is this plant? Pretty so cute. We got some great box art on here as well. Alright, so just like um, the Kevin from the Spotlight series that we got, came with a little art card. Wally also does. Super cute. And now, it's all about the box. Let's open the, what should we open first? Guy. It's a cockroach guy. Okay. Oh. Here's him. Beep. Look at how big his antennas are. Let's see how big he is compared to Wally. Lunchbox closes and opens, and you can fit stuff inside, which is really fun. We got the fire extinguisher like he used on the ship by and large. That's a nice touch. This hose. Now, bendable. And the next one is this one. The plant is the most important. Got the little shoe, like all the little details on it. Beep. You can even see the laces and the creases in the boot. Here's our square crushed piece of trash accessory. I love all the little details of stuff in here that you can see. Looks like he really did crush this little square out of trash. And it fits nicely inside of him, so that's fun. Here is Wally out of his packaging, all his cool articulation and the different ways that he moves. It was very fun to immediately get him out and just see all the different um, ways you could pose him and see what he did. Other set of eyes, looks a little sad. Sad eyes. Similar to Kevin, this came with a background art. Uh, there are two different scenes, just a yellow leaf, and then this one that is for Earth um, in the future, or possibly today, hard to tell. These uh, bottom tabs do flip around so you can have it um, either way in your display, so that's nice. To open his body cavity, you have to push up on this top part of him where the silver is, and then you can flip down this hatch here. The trash box does not fit with it closed. You have to open him up, then put the trash box in, and then close him. You also have to close the bottom part first, or else, as you see, here, uh, it doesn't close all the way if you do it the other way. So that was a little frustrating to kind of figure out. There are no instructions on the box on how to do this. So it's just kind of trial and error on my part here. Here, I wanted to see what other things might fit in his little compartment. His little cockroach friend fits inside as well as his plant. Uh, fits inside pretty nicely, but the fire extinguisher and the lunchbox are too large to fit inside of Wally. But you can put those two things in at the same time, so that's kind of fun. And of course, the lock of trash fits inside of him, but not with the other stuff, just by itself. So I think this is for when he turns into a box. 
because it looks like this head has the same peg as this. So, uh, so this is like when he was. But does that mean you can take out the rest of his stripes and he can just be a box? Oh, maybe those are his little eyes. Yeah, so it looks like, yeah. But. Well, I thought maybe you took these eye parts out, but I think this is just when he's kind of slinking down. And he's kind of getting all, all kind of sad. Yeah. He's like, Mom, I'm sad. <laughs> He's so sad. When you open him, you can slide his arms through his little track here and actually remove them completely so that he can actually be a box. Oh. Yeah, so those actually come all the way out. And then now he's a box. <laughs> Put the cockroach on him. Okay. Cockroach is a new bed. <laughs> For a moment of comparison, I got my Eva that I had from the Disney Pixar uh, line that they released when the movie came out. Um, just to see how he measured up. Mine's a little scuffed up there. Um, she's a bit bigger than he is, but they look good together, I think. And then I also have the other Wally. This one is obviously much brighter yellow, uh, but you know, it was for kids, so it was still fun. It's interesting that you could still see the track on him, and they actually molded it in. You can feel where the track is on the kid one but his arms do not move up and down. Kid Wally's wheels do not move. Uh, he does have a ball joint on his head so his eyes can move, but not like the Pixar Spotlight one. It has a joint at the base of his neck so he can do a lot more poses with his head. Um, obviously much better articulation in the adult collectible one. can hold the lunchbox and his little metallic arm there. This little thumb does have a joint there. All right, so for on Wally's wheels, it looks like he actually has actual wheels inside of his wheels. I'm not sure why they didn't just make these treads movable. He's also got these little peg holes for his stand here, but I mean, he stands really well on his own, so I don't really know why you would use that. Upon trying out the stand, I actually could not get him to sit on these pig holes. It seems like the pig hole and his treads are almost hex-shaped, whereas the pigs that are supposed to go in there are round. They don't go in, uh, which is a silly oversight. Uh, they should have just made the holes round. His eyes can move individually, which is really neat. So you can have all sorts of different expressions for him. His shoulder and his arms move really, really uh, wide joint movement here, but it's also very loose. Uh, the joints don't really stay very well in the positions you put them in. So you're going to have to be careful posing him just right. He also has this little tab in the back here. It doesn't do anything that I could figure out other than just open and close. Uh, so I'm not sure what that's supposed to do. Again, some instructions uh, would have been nice here.
guy definitely does seem pretty durable. All these parts feel strong, thick plastic. Uh, you know, if it was for my son, I'd worry about him pulling out the tires and the arms and losing those pieces or the little accessories he comes with. But since it's for me, I'm not so worried about that. So for durability, I'm going to go with four out of five stars. For action and posability, you know, he has lots of great um, poses that you can put him in. I'm going to give him four and a half out of five stars for action and posability. Took off half a star just because his joints are so loose, it is hard to keep some of those poses in the way you put them. And of course, last but not least, we have Bang for Your Buck. This guy was $40 through the Mattel Creations website, uh, but I really think that is a good deal for all the things that you get here. All these great accessories, which each have their own unique touch, great attention to detail, and of course, uh, the great art background that you can use to display them with, and of course, Wally himself, which you can just tell all the love that they put into him. I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5 for bang for your buck. As an adult collectible, we definitely found some treasure here with this Wally. I can't wait to see what Mattel Creation has in store for us next. Hopefully it's more cute stuff. Join us next time and we'll see if we find more treasure.